<laughs> How are you? Thank you. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's so nice of you. I hope you're having a good week. Thank you for being here. I, uh, I'm doing well myself. In a couple days, I'm going to turn 29 years old, and I'm very excited about that. I was hoping uh, by now that I would look older, but it didn't happen. <laughs> I don't look older. I just look worse, I think. Honestly, when I'm walking down the street, no one's ever like, hey, look at that man. I think they're just like, whoa, that tall child looks terrible. <laughs> Get some rest, tall child. You can't keep burning the candle at both ends. <laughs> you ever seen on America's Most Wanted when they age a photo of someone? Just take my kindergarten photo and yellow the teeth and put bags under the eyes and be like, this is what he would look like now. <laughs> I was a very nervous kid. I was anxious all the time when I was younger. But what's nice is that some of the things I was anxious about don't bother me at all anymore. Like, uh, I always thought that uh, quicksand was gonna be a much bigger problem than it turned out to be. <laughs> Because if you watch cartoons, quicksand is like the third biggest thing you have to worry about in adult life. <laughs> Behind real sticks of dynamite and giant anvils falling on you from the sky. I used to sit around and think about what to do about quicksand. I never thought about how to handle real problems in adult life. I was never like, oh, what's it gonna be like when relatives ask to borrow money? <laughs> now I've gotten older, not only have I never stepped in quicksand, I've never even heard about it. No one's ever been like, hey, if you're coming to visit, take I-90, because I-95 has a little quicksand in the middle. <laughs> Looks like regular sand, but then you're gonna start to sink into it. <laughs> I was nervous all the time, but I had a good family. I have wonderful parents. Uh, a lot of guys my age, I'll hear them say this, they go, every day I think I'm becoming more like my dad. I think I'm becoming more like my mom. <laughs> because I, I, I was watching that show, Access Hollywood, and one of the reporters said, up next, we have an exclusive interview with Sandra Bullock's former husband, Jesse James. And out loud, I went, ugh, this ought to be good. <laughs> That's pure mom. <laughs> My parents are both lawyers. They are both lawyers. And sometimes they would be like lawyers with us when we were kids. I remember one time I was in bed, and my dad came in and he said, good night, John. Did you brush your teeth? And I said, yes. But here's the thing, <laughs> I hadn't. But who cares, I didn't have like a job interview or anything. So my dad comes back in a couple minutes holding my toothbrush. He says, John, is this your toothbrush? And I said, yes. And he said, so we agree that this is your toothbrush. <laughs> then he said, John, this toothbrush is bone dry. Like he looked down and he said, bone dry. He said, you lied to me. I said, Dad, I did not lie. I said that I brushed my teeth. I never specified that I brushed my teeth tonight. And if the court reporter reads back my remarks, you will see that I did not perjure myself. <laughs> my mom's also a lawyer. She was a different kind of lawyer with us when we were kids. My mom was more like Nancy Grace. She would just make wild accusations all day long and wait for something to stick. <laughs> my mom would blame me for things that happened on the news. That is true. I woke up one morning when I was a kid and my mom was standing over my bed and she said, I just heard that Princess Diana and her lover, Dodi Al-Fayed, have been killed in Paris. Like, I had something to do with it. I was like, Mom, I have been here all night. You can feel the TV, it's warm. Luckily, I had a good alibi since I was in Wisconsin and 12. My brothers and sisters and I had this babysitter named Veronica when we were kids, and I was in love with her. I was in love with Veronica. She would babysit us on Saturday nights. And in my head, when I was a little kid, I thought that Veronica was like 25, 30 years old. I was just talking to my mom the other week. I found out that when I was 10, Veronica was 13. <laughs> so why was she in charge? All she could do was dial the telephone a little better than I could. <laughs> 13 when I'm 10, that's just like hiring a slightly bigger child. That would be like if you're going out of town for the week and you paid a horse to watch your dog. <laughs> like, all right, here is the number where we'll be, and here's where we keep the dog food, and you're a horse. <laughs> shh, Why do people do that? People always shush animals. They go, hey, shh, 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 shh. They've never spoken. 